Yeah, we're going to be smoking a slab of ribs today. It's the spare ribs, cut trim St. Louis style, so it's got the chine bone and a lot of the stuff at the top removed. This is three pounds. And uh, we're going to get ready by prepping the thing. First thing we're going to do is remove the uh, membrane. Just get a knife in there somewhere, lift it up, and start working it loose. piece of paper towel helps this process. And that, uh, that's gone. Now, trim with just a little bit of fat and this little extra bit of diaphragm that's in here goes to the that's just tough. A little bit of the fat, not much. That'll all render out. There's a layer of fat under there, but it'd be okay. Now we're going to just cut it into manual size hunks here. Two, three, four, five, six. And starting with the, uh, the bone side, I'm going to um, put the rub on. And to get the rubbed wood here, I'm going to use a little ballpark mustard. It doesn't take much, and it won't leave a mustard flavor, it's just a flavor enhancer and glue. And then we're going to dredge it pretty well with the, uh, the rub. Okay, that's great. I'll rub that in just a little bit. I'm going to the meat side up now. I'll do the same thing. We've already got the smoker started. It's, sort of, it's going to be running at 225 to 250. And with the 321 method, we're going to use the 321 method for this. It's going to be three hours of smoke, two hours wrapped up in foil, and an hour back in uh, the heat to firm it up. Use whatever rub recipe you like. This is a great rub recipe here. I want the edge there a little bit. Around the corner. And right there. Okay. Let me stop. Okay. Um, off to the smoker. Okay, we've got the grill done. I'm fired up here. It's, it's cooking away. I've got a hunk of hickory. That's what I like to use. Uh, some people use mesquite, I think it's too acrid. And I got just a little fire going right in the middle, it's centered in the middle, it'll burn its way out. That's all I'm going to use for the entire three hour smoke. Got a drop down grate and a terracotta saucer from Walmart for flower pots covered with foil for easy cleanup to provide me some indirect heat. My grate, and then the ribs go on. And this being the 3-2-1 method, I'm going to close the lid, smoke them for three hours, and not disturb them. They're going to be done at 225 to 250. It's going to get a temperature probe right there, and uh, we'll be done shortly. Okay, it's been three hours. At between 225 and 250, mostly, eh, probably average around 235. And it's time to take the ribs off. They look great. We haven't peaked, and this is the first time we've looked at them, but uh, kind of, kind of a, I adhere to the policy, if you're looking, you're not cooking. 
So uh, now we're going to go take them and wrap them up for stage two of the process. Step two here. First step was the three part. That was three hours in a smoker, 225 degrees, indirect heat, using hickory. Step two is we're going to create an airtight environment where the ribs can steam, and the steaming will tenderize them by breaking down the collagen. So squirt it on some barbecue sauce. And this is just a little of my lime barbecue sauce. And then a little bit more of the rub. And there's several ways you can do this. What I like to do, I've cut a, a pan saver bag in two. These things are good to 400 degrees so they didn't melt. You, you know, I wouldn't recommend just wrapping in plastic wrap. If you wanted to, to create a good airtight environment, you can use these pan saver bags, then saran wrap, and then foil, or just lots of foil. But here we go. You know, wrap these up, tuck them under. Then I'll do the half. A little sauce. I'm just doing the meat side here. That's plenty good enough. It's more of the rub. Just like the other half. And see what good. Now here we can go a couple different routes too. If there were summer and the air conditioning was on, we'd go right back out in the smoker, put it back on at 225 for another couple hours. It's a beautiful, cool March day here in South Texas. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the oven preheated to 225. We're going to put these in the oven for uh, two hours. That's the two portion of our process. Okay, the uh, two hours in the oven, or section two is done. We did the three with three hours in the uh, smoker with hickory smoke. The two wrapped tightly in the oven at 225 to break down the collagen and rid of the fat. And now we're going to unwrap it, and then the one portion kicks in. It does one hour in the oven, just to kind of tighten things up. This, this is piping hot, so you've got to be just a little careful with it here. Trying to make a big mess. That's one right there. I'll do the same thing to this side. And get the steam in, and uh, totally left a lot of the collagen and uh, fat rendered out down there that won't contribute much. Okay, and, okay we're ready for the, the one portion back in the oven, 225 degrees to tighten up for an hour. Sometimes it don't go that long. You just kind of watch it after about a half hour, see what it looks like. Well, this was the last step of the 3 2 1 method. It turned up, ended up taking them out after about 30 minutes in the oven. 
so instead of a three two one, it's more like a three two and a half. Let them rest about a half hour so the uh, everything kind of settles down, and now it's a matter of just slicing them up. Got a good smoke ring all through it. It's sticky from the collagen. This is going to be it's nice and moist. Back in there. Sometimes, if you uh, let this go too long. It gets too tender by Kansas City Barbecue judging contest standards. It, they like it to where it doesn't exactly fall off the bone, just a little bit of a bite left to it. That's not uh, how I'm doing. I'm not doing it for a contest, I'm doing it for me. So falling off the bone is okay with me. This appears to be how this one kind of goes. You know, actually, this is just perfect. And the, the, oh, the rub recipe we used was Wolf Rub, uh, Wolf Rub Bold. Go buy his recipe. He's, he, it's a good product. And if you want my barbecue sauce recipe, come to our barbecue website and uh, you'll be able to find it there. I've got a free taco sauce recipe and uh, some, a good, couple of good barbecue sauce recipes that uh, you really need. Thank you.